Hey there, YouTube. You want to get insane? I want to get insane. If you know anything about my channel, you know that I right now run a GTX 980 Ti. I think I got that around February. And before this card, I had this card. The MSI R9390X. And, um... I know that DirectX 12 has support for something called uh, was it discrete multi-GPU. So I decided to try it out and mix these two different vendored graphics cards together and see how powerful they are if they work together as a team. So you're going to come with me for this. I got my card right here. We're going to pick this up. going to bring it over to my computer here in my room and we're going to put it inside so hope you enjoy watching me install this and then test it also we're going to be taking a look at power draw so stay tuned okay so obviously first things first you got power you got to unplug that business really don't have to. I noticed now that I have a kilowatt, once you hit the power switch, the kilowatt shows that it's not drawing any amps or watts anymore. So got the computer on its side. Let's bring the camera into the picture here and get up in that. Ah, might as well give you a tour of my computer here. So, I got my Kraken X61 hooked up to my 5775C, which I have overclocked to 4.3 gigahertz. There's the 980Ti. Got EVGA, bronze, lasted me a while. Kind of want to upgrade it, and you'll see why. Mainly for overkill reasons. I, I got pretty decent cable management going on in here. I hate cable management, hate doing it. It's tedious and annoying, but this case makes it pretty easy. I got um, the hard drives are on the 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 other side of the motherboard tray which makes things really nice in here I took the two fractal fans that came with the case or was it one maybe there's two anyway I bought extra fractal fans too and I got those up on the radiator and I also have another fractal fan no that's not a fractal that is one of the NZXT Kraken fans because these are loud they're loud and they're high speed. So what I wanted to have going on in here was um, these fans uh, from Fractal only go up to about 1,000 RPM. So I could run them at 100% all the time. And these ones are taking air in. And, um, and if you haven't noticed, I also it's, it's a push it's a push pull. So... You know, a whole bunch of them taking air in. And um, I have a one high-speed fan pulling all the air out. And uh, with the side of the case on, uh, pretty, uh, it helps really good with controlling dust levels and stuff. And uh, the heat's not too bad. But for installing the second card, uh, the heat's going to be a little too much, so we're just going to leave the side off. Okay, on to installing the card. 
We got that card, we got that business. It's going to be a real tight fit, but I assure you that it will fit and it does work because I tested it already. Now, now I have a lazy eye, so actually seeing that PCI slot is a problem sometimes. So I just have to make sure I align it. I'm feeling around up in here with the back slots up in here. I'm not quite hitting it, tilted. I'm on tilt, I'm on so much tilt right now. There you go. So that's up in there, that's installed. And since I recently already did this test, I got power plugs right here. Stick this guy in there. Come on, eyes. There you go. Eight pin with that little little guy that sticks off the end there. Boom, boom. And just to make this easy for testing, since really the only thing that I unplugged was the power, is I'm going to grab that power plug it in and we're going to do the test as if my case is an open test bench. Ooh, get over here. This is all going to be so much easier once uh, in October. Going to be moving. So there we go. Everything lights up. So now on to the boot up and the testing. Okay, so now that it's physically installed, let's install the drivers so Windows wants to work with it correctly. And right now there is only one thing that I'm aware of that I could actually test this feature in and that is the Ashes of the Singularity benchmark slash game. I've never played the game, I've never used the benchmark until I think two days ago when I just did a test run of this to see if uh, my power supply could even handle this idea. So we get all this. I don't want AMD gaming involved. I don't need a Raptor. Don't need it. Raptor. I feel like this is going to be a more common thing where someone's going to upgrade to pretty high-end card coming from a pretty high-end card. And maybe it'll be mixed vendor, maybe it won't be, but having the capability of being able to run them at the same time to help render a game is a pretty cool idea, you know? And um, really the only limiting factor is people specking their computers uh, a little too cheaply in the power supply, which they shouldn't be doing at all anyway. Um, you should put a good chunk of money in your power supply since it's the thing that powers your computer. If, you're, if you have a K-SKU CPU... You have, you know, uh, what is it, like a, a, a Z97, a Z whatever is for the Skylake 107, whatever. You, old oh, the Z series, I guess is the overclocking one. But if you're overclocking, if you have high-end hardware, get a really powerful, good, clean power supply. Because that could 
be the difference of getting a better overclock or upgradability in the future. My 850 is cutting it for what this test is going to do to my computer. Let's load up Afterburner. So, yep. Now, Afterburner won't show any of the overclocking stuff for this because I don't have a display connected to it. But it will show my 980 Ti stuff. And that's all fine. So, Ashes of the Singularity. You want the DX12 version. Okay, so we're loading up Ashes. And let's check out the options. You got Enable Multi-GPU. Right now I have it on, let me just make sure it refreshes stuff. There we go, I got it on the crazy profile. So, and I'm not gonna customize any of the settings or anything. And just to make it happy, even though it was already on the crazy profile, just make it happy. Just restart it since it asked. Let it boot back up and benchmark. We'll do the GPU focused one. And you can see here it shows 980 Ti and Radeon 390 series. So let's run test. And then it does this preparing benchmark thing. And I'm going to be just reading to you every once in a while the a wattage that I'm seeing on the kilowatt. So when it was at the gray screen, it was showing 430. <laughs> now it's showing 675 watts. 682, 685. So you can see that you're going to get increased performance. You're going to get killer performance if more games supported this. But your thermals, your power draw, are going to be insane. There you go, 701. And I'll just remind you, I get an 850 watt bronze power supply. It's running so smooth right now. I don't know if you could hear it, the fans at all. Here, I could take the mic off my headset, put a little closer. Yeah, but it, it's, it's loud. It's loud and I bet it's pretty hot in there. There you go, I'm seeing 740, 760 watts. This is a pretty long benchmark. I mean, on the day that I tested this two days ago, I ran uh, just for like baselines. This, there's the GPU focus test. I ran the GPU focus test on every graphical preset with just the 980 Ti. And then there's the second one that's the CPU focused one on every graphical preset. And what is it? It's like a two minute, 30 second benchmark. It was, it was a long afternoon. Getting 642, 628 watts, 679. I would be surprised if this was, you know, not sampling like every second, second and a half that I would probably see an 800 watt draw. Yeah, but the, the potential for this DirectX 12 uh, explicit multi-adapter, whatever, whatever this is actually called, the potential for it is, in my mind, pretty amazing. Since it uh, doesn't matter what you have, if, if your computer could fit it in it and you could power it, 
I, I would run like this. I wouldn't run every game using this feature. That's dumb. Um, you know, CSGO, Overwatch. No, no. If they use this, I wouldn't use it. I mean, I'm already maxing out at 300 most of the time in Overwatch, so why? But other stuff, more single-player stuff where I want to crank the settings. I want to use AA. This would be, this would be beautiful. This totally gets rid of all the bottleneck, too. I wish... I don't know how to load previous ones, but I guess I could uh, go back to the main menu and then uh, disable multi-GPU, leave it in crazy, exit it, and I'll run for you just the single uh, 980 Ti. Okay, so I'm going to be doing the 980 Ti test here. So you can see just 980 Ti, still have it on the crazy preset. And yeah, we'll run that. Power draw is extremely lower than it was before. I mean, during this gray screen, it was like 450, 420, something like that. And now it's just 330. Now that we're getting in the test, it's, it, it's higher than it was when I didn't have the 390X in the system. This topped out at like 475 at the most with just the 980 Ti in it. But this is kind of hovering around 430, 470, 496. So it might hit 500 during this test. But I take out the 390X, it'll be lower. Because, you know, even though it's idle in the system, there's still power draw on it. There were other things that I tested this configuration with. Um, rendering software, 3D rendering, like uh, Cinema 4D. Um, there's third-party render plugins that you could get for that that use your graphics card, but n I haven't found any that have a trial that I'm currently using that uh, will use two. None of them use two. Um, I don't like 3D Studio Max. I, I installed that to mess around because I needed to convert a file from .max and export it. I failed, but so I wasn't. I didn't test that all that much. Um, video rendering like um, Premiere Pro or uh, Sony Vegas will not take advantage of this. It barely takes advantage of one GPU, believe it or not. Um, just MP4 compression really isn't meant for a GPU workload. You get less quality um, and less utilization. It's, it can't be that parallel as parallel as you think. I mean, you know, there's a bunch of frames, it's going blah, blah, blah times per second, there's bit rate, it's gotta do prediction methods, but no, leave that on the CPU, give it all the megahertz and gigahertz you can, overclock that. Um, I haven't tested it with because I know it'll be insane, but I will right now after this uh, benchmark of just the single 980 Ti, uh, boink, or folding at home, definitely use multi-GPU because you could partition different work, work units out to different devices. So, you know, you got that. Um, obviously the power draw will be immense there. Um, I don't think people still use GPUs to do cryptocurrencies. I think that's left to the ASICs right now and FPGAs and all that business. Okay, but there you go. So the benchmark's done on the single one, and it looks like the average CPU frame rate is around the same, but you could see that 100% of the normal, medium, and heavy 
uh, batches are GPU bound when before there was no bottleneck anywhere. My CPU was able to feed the GPU and the GPU was able to process everything efficiently. That's the dream, really, isn't it? So I mentioned Boink. Let that start up. I'm scared to do this. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured would happen. No, no. See, the last time I was running this, I didn't uh, say suspend. But anyway, yeah, okay, so NVIDIA GPU, AMD ATI GPU. So it's it's willing to do the work. Um, I'm scared. I am scared. But I mean, I'll let it do it. So, okay, we got one NVIDIA GPU test going. And it's 520, 530 watts. And we got the AMD, AMD work unit going. And they're both running on Poem. I mean, I could get more points, more bragging rights, but, you know, do I want both of these installed in my system just for this? No. They're starved for air right now, and I don't play Ashes of the Singularity. So, again, if, if more things use this, maybe I would consider having both of these in there and adding... 50 more fans to get the hot air out but otherwise this is just this is just how you go insane insane hardware right here let's pan on over to that again there so this has been insane hardware um yeah dx12 multi-adapter it's a thing you could have amd and nvidia working together conspiring against frame rates everywhere and bottlenecks everywhere. I mean, think about it even further. The 390X can do workloads asynchronous. People always say asynchronous stuff. Asynchronous workloads better than Maxwell can. So they're... Ooh, look at my hands. They're complementing each other in a way. So, you know, like this video if you think that this is an interesting concept and... Uh, hope more games add support, even though there isn't much demand. Um, and leave a comment. I want to hear from you guys. I'll see you guys later.